bronze medal in the quadruple skulls. Nice of us to be able to see that just ahead of this race, the men's singles and fantastic lineup we've got there for you. Dami Martin, Fournier Rodriguez, Manson, Tim Alanaska, the world under 23 champion. And uh, well, on the outside, you've got Tom Barras, absolutely really in great form to get into this final. The Brit Nico Stalberg won in Belgrade in the outside lane too. So now it's time for the men's single skulls. We see the boat there. One sculler, two oars. Um, just looking out the window, I think the tailwind might have dropped slightly. Not quite such fast conditions as we had earlier as we now take a look across the lanes. Tom Barras, and isn't it amazing to see this young man in the final of the single skulls? Olympic silver medalist next to him. I mean, it must be Christmas time. I think I've got the Olympic silver medalist next to me in a World Cup final, Damien Martin. Angel Fournier Rodriguez, the Cuban. He is in one of the centre lanes, won his semi final yesterday. And Tim Olanaska, the under-23 champion. He won under-23s twice in juniors. He was unbeaten, really, to the Europeans. Nico Stahlberg out there in lane six. The one I didn't mention, apologies, was Rob Manson, the Kiwi, who is most people's favourite, I think, to beat this race, to win this race. He beat the Croatian Olympic silver medalist in the heat in the semi-final yesterday. Damien Martin blasted out, but couldn't hold Manson's pace in the second quarter. Yeah, we were waiting, weren't we, to see if Damien Martin was going to come back, but he didn't. And uh, Robbie Manson ended up winning that semi-final, putting himself in the centre lane. So I watched Tom Barras, the British sculler, take a fifth place in the under-23 final last year behind Tim Olanaska. This is a massive step up for him. And... Uh, Great to see young talent from the under-23s coming through. Tim Olanaska, the jet. Well, we're riding there with Angel Fournier Rodriguez. Such Top. a big man in such a small boat and controlling it so well, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, this is your event, Greg. You were world bronze medalist in this event in 97. But look at Tim Olanaska there. Yeah, not a surprise to see that, really. I think he was brave yesterday, took it out in the single. You can do that a single time. You get the boat going really quickly um, for 500. And then see if he can uh, he can go with the motivation really that comes from being up. What's he doing well there, Greg? Because why has he got that pace? He's not a big man. I'd say he's giving it. I'd call it a big a big oomph, a big sort of shunt. Like uh, the blades go in the water and then those legs go down slowly, really, really, very slowly, but with an awful lot of power. Um, so he's really shunting it with his legs, opening with his back, really quite strongly. So it's a big, a lot of oomph, a lot of power. Um, he's not a hit, which is why I call it a shunt rather than a pull because it's very smooth. The question is just whether he can keep that amount of power going into every stroke. Yeah, he's just changed rhythm there, you can he see. Has, he yeah, just, just at that stroke, right great, down, great yeah. camera shot, you can see. Yeah. And the speed's going to come off the boat. Nico Stahlberg, the man who took World Cup title in Belgrade, first World Cup of the season, not quite the Europeans he wanted. There's a huge difference in terms of the speed of, of Oli Nasca there, when you see how, how much difference that's made to how he's now just settled into a sustainable pace. Great first 500 from the Swiss Scala, coached, of course, by Robin Dow. The Brit, who went out to Switzerland, coached the British junior quad to gold medal in Rio in 2015. And, uh, well, he took the summer in Australia, or the British, uh, the Swiss winter, and Nico Stalberg came back. Uh, not been in a, a fierce winter's training. He did some races down there, took that World Cup in Belgrade, beat Demir Martin. See Demir Martin, the Olympic silver medalist, lost just by a few thousandths of a second to the Kiwi, Mahi Drysdale. But Robbie Manson, first time we mentioned him in the race, there he is going through. Robbie's just on one of those like wind ups there, isn't he? He looks like he's on a wind up, he? he looks like a lot of strokes a minute as we have a look at, at Demir Martin with that, yeah, just long and long and quite loose, you would say, about his, his sculling. It won't feel loose, it'll feel like he's, he's making a big effort. Um, but it's different to what you see with Manson up at 38 strokes a minute. So what, what's Manson done there? Because Nico Stahlberg moved through Tim Olanaska, but Manson is just like, he's, he's just gone mad. He's just like... Well, perhaps this is New Zealand thing, isn't it? To get off the start smoothly and then look to just really turn it on, squeeze the power on when other people are hurting. So what I don't understand is how a scholar like Manson can be rated 38 and his Felipe shell is just running dead flat in the water. Yeah, and he, and he hits it quite hard with his legs as well. It's, I, I'd say his leg drives considerably quicker than what we were looking at earlier with the 
German scholar, but um, it's a different, more dynamic kind of uh, a stroke than the, than the slower oomph sort of stroke we saw earlier. You see, they're the new sponsors of uh, New Zealand Ryan Rocket Kitchen, and uh, they are really glad to have their support for this season. Rocket Kitchen Catering Company and Robbie Manson has had a second quarter destroy the field. 3.16 through the second quarter, 3.16.13. It's under world's best time pace, Greg. Um, that's, that's fast, isn't well, it? Again, 3.16, imagine doubling that up if you could do that for Marge a, a 6.32, crazy speed. Marhe Drysdale set the world's best time when he beat Britain's Alan Campbell here in the World Championships in 2009, 6.33.35. So he's on the world's best time pace, and I don't think the conditions are anything like as quick as they were that day. They were very rough. But look at Manson, he's, well, he's just still moving, killing. isn't he? He's still moving, he's still at 38. He, amazing. He's killing He's killing the Olympic silver medalist. That's amazing, isn't it? He's when killing you think of Fournier that. Rodriguez. He's yeah. killing Nico Stalbo, yeah. who won the first World Cup. Robbie Manson from Wairau in New Zealand is just sensational. Where does he get that pace from? I did say, actually, to answer my own question, sorry, Greg, that really Robbie Manson is setting a stake in the claim. He wants to be the Kiwi single to take the challenge to the Tokyo Olympics. He knows he's got to get past Mahe Drysdale. Mahe Drysdale's not here, taking the year out, but if he takes Mahe Drysdale's world record, if he shows the rest of the field that's how good he is, he is sending a message to Mahe Drysdale get in another boat because this is mine well it's an interesting message he's sending out look how fast Robbie Manson is here in the front of the field I'm also going to say look how slow Damir Martin is that Damir Martin is going to be back here battling it out with young Tom Brabus beside him um, and the rest of the field he's under world record pace 454.41 and 455.1 what's Damir Martin doing at the back here let's not worry about him too much it looks like he's going to have an off date today for sure he knows he's going to break the world's best time today. I know he's been doing quick times in Carapiro. I'm talking to Noel Donaldson. He said he'd certainly get under world's best time for the 1,000 metres. I don't know about the whole 2K, but this is absolutely sensational what we're seeing. And men's single is so difficult. You can see 18. Well, he's taken the rate up. He's up at 39 now as he's into the last at 300 metres or so. There we look at the race for silver and bronze. Angel Fournier, Rodriguez, the Cuban, Nico Stauberg the Swiss sculler, but um, it's so good to see Robbie Manson, such uh, an iconic figure in the world of rowing, came out about his sexuality, and really important that uh, you speak out about who you are, your identity, and he's making such a strong statement. Well, he's absolutely going for this, he's not holding anything back, he's going up, he knows he's on for the world best time, there's no other reason why he's doing it, but look, 41 strokes a minute now, the bow speed, the bow speed is keeping pretty high. Let's see if he can get up over that 19 metres per second and get him up. He's back up there at 19. That will give him a chance to get in this world best. Look at 635, it. 633, 35 is what we're looking for. Look at his face as he goes through, and he's kept a phenomenal pace. That boat is running absolutely flat. Coached by Noel Donaldson, who coached the Kiwi pair to, to uh, one Olympic gold medal in Rio, and he crosses the line. <laughs> wow, 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 well, that is the new world's best time. His arm goes up. I don't know where he finds the energy to put that up. The Cuban takes the silver. The Swiss takes the bronze. He'll be chuffed about that. Nascar in fourth. Tom Barris beats the Olympic silver medalist to take fifth. Damien Martin skulls in. But we have seen a sensational performance. Another Kiwi crew sets a new world's best time, 6.30.74, Greg. He has smashed it. He hasn't just beaten it, he's absolutely smashed it. Three seconds nearly, two and a half seconds quicker than the previous world best. That's a length. That's more than a boat length of a single fast than anyone's ever gone before. And these aren't even the fastest conditions you can imagine. And it's a better percentage of the world's best time, 100.67%, than the women's pair did. So, and that phenomenal pace, 38 strokes a minute, flat stern. I mean, great credit to him. His coach, Noel Donaldson, been working on his training programme. Fantastic credit to Noel to be coaching yet another crew. Damir Martin, the Olympic silver medalist, just not his day today, but he couldn't live with that Certainly pace. Certainly Robbie Manson's day. And... and Interesting to see how you make the boat go fast, which is that he was conservative in that first quarter, relatively. 
stayed in the field for the first quarter and then just got quicker and quicker as he came through the <laughs> middle of the race. Like Kiwi Pear, I mean, that's the way they rode. Yeah. And, you know, got the same coat, so why didn't he do the same? I mean, you know, Mahe Drysdale won't touch that, I have to say. No. I, I mean, mean, if he can get his head in gear for beating Drysdale, if Drysdale comes back, maybe Drysdale will go into a different boat. But, you know, a bloke's going to do that performance. What's he going to do when he has another couple of years training? Wow, 6.30 points, 7 for can't believe I'm seeing that, or yeah. saying it. No, that's Sub six not... In a single, and know. that's a good field. Fournier Rodriguez, yeah. double Olympian, well, And he's won by 7 seconds, like, yeah. like yeah. sub 6.29 on the singles, yeah. isn't yeah.